Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we're taking a look at the all-new Akira 4.13. That's right, 4.13 has dropped today. It is officially out. You can get it at the download link from the Akira website. And we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features. So when you open a new version of Akira, oh, I want to point out, make sure you keep your old version. Sometimes there are flaws with these versions. They did release a beta, beta I covered a video on, um, and I didn't notice any major bugs. But you don't want to run into any issues down the road or lose your profile so keep your old version for a little while at least until you're sure that this version works properly well let's go over some of the new things so um the increased print speed this here mostly applies just to ultimaker printers and it says the last release they focused on quality and now they're increasing productivity so they've increased their print speed to make it two to three times faster and it says right here these these are profiles for the ultimaker s-line 3d printer so not really going to apply to us since we're not using an ultimaker machine let's move on seamless cross-platform synchronization this gives you access to seamless uh, this is also stuff for um, I mean there's a few things in here that are useful to anyone but most of it is just for Ultimaker machines so uh, and then the enterprise level boost means you gotta log in blah 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 all this stuff another step towards making it pay to play it's the way they're going um, which might be another reason you want to keep your old version for sure by registering to Ultimaker Essentials for free, you get access to a wide range of advanced functionality. Now, a lot of this stuff it says upgrade your Ultimaker. So again, that's really just the Ultimaker printer. Um, beginner's Guide to FFF. So in here, there might be some interesting things to help you out with your printing problems and printing woes, um, but I haven't delved too much into it. It is an interesting concept, but you see these all over as like ploys for different companies to try and get you to, um, I guess, return to their website repeatedly which makes sense i guess uh just not really something i need so we're gonna hit next and we can actually see the differences here as opposed to those fancy pictures they show so um they have a 3mf thumbnail that means if you export to 3mf instead of stl you can see a thumbnail and that's pretty cool as well um, infill density automatically changes to zigzag for Ultimaker print flow files at 100%. I don't know what that's about. Um, and then the user login thing that they were talking about. New print profile, speed print profile for the S-Line printers. Uh, and you can sync material profiles, which we might play around with and do a video on. But, I mean, this is just the, the S-Line as well. So um, I, I want to look into some of these things. But for most viewers, uh, we're using uh, Creality machines and things like that. So, other new features and improvement improve TPU top layers. Added a warning icon to show which extruder is causing the configuration to not be supported. Shows the what's new page with every build. Speed up loading of settings list. The load time in this version was actually really, really fast. They're getting better about that. It used to take forever and a day for Cure to pop open. Um, and they've, they've really reduced that time lately. So, build volume temperature change, allow plugins to have multiple views. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it for the new stuff in Kira 4.13. I do keep a running tab of these. This is in a playlist of my Kira versions and settings, and you can find a, a description and explanation of what's new in pretty much every version, as well as some dedicated videos on different things I did want to point out that if we go to configure Kira here there is a button uh, where is it at opening and saving files no 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 there it is updates down at the bottom so you can have it check for updates on start and you can have it check for not just the actual release, but the beta as well. That way you can always have the latest version. Or if you want to do some beta testing, let them know if you find any bugs. If you do, please report them to Kira. They thrive off of that. That's how they figure uh, most of their problems out and get them dealt with. So uh, really, really quick to deal with major problems. Doesn't seem like there's anything really majorly wrong with this version. So we're going to play around with it and do some testing. But uh, super, super fast and i definitely recommend giving it a go guys that's going to be it for this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave a like i'll put a, a playlist up in the corner if you hit that it'll take you to my kira settings in five minutes or less playlist in that playlist i go over each of these settings one by one and tell you what it does and what other settings it interacts with so you might find that useful 
definitely pop over there and make sure you ring that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. Oh, I'll put a card up, another card. This is my Kira questions playlist where I answer questions in the comments about Kira. So if you have any Kira questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments and make sure you leave the word Kira in the question. That's how I search through all the comments I get to find that question. So uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Take Nivorous out.